Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create an automatic shutdown request on your Windows computer. So if you want to create a task for this, this tutorial will be for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in Task Scheduler. Best match should say Task Scheduler. You want to left click on that once to open it up. And now you want to left click on create basic task on the right side here. So left click on that. And now you can name it whatever you want in here. So you can say auto shutdown. And you can add any name for it as well if you choose to do so. I'm going to select next. And it's going to ask when you want the task to start. So you could say daily, weekly, monthly, or one time. Let's just say one time here. And then I'm going to left click on next again. So at this point, you would enter what time you'd want your computer to shut down. So again, really doesn't matter, just whenever you want to do it. And then you want to left click on next. And then you're going to get an action thing. It's going to say what action you want the task to perform. Left click on start a program, and then left click on next. And now where it says program script, left click on browse right here. And now you want to scroll down until you get to shutdown or type in shutdown into this list here until you come up with it. It doesn't really matter however you want to get to it. But you want to look for something that says shutdown. Right here. And you just want to left click on OK. And now in the add arguments optional, you want to click inside this box here, do a forward slash s, and then another space forward slash F. You want all programs to quit when your computer shuts down. And then once you're done typing that in, you want to left click on next. And then left click on finish here. And there you go guys, you can see we've created the task successfully. So pretty straightforward. And it says last refresh that if I left click on refresh here. So that's about it guys. So at this point you just close out many applications and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.